Feature Friday. The freshest. <sighs> We've actually already checked out this song on a stream. Yes. Uh, we'll be back streaming actually. Uh, Ooh, yeah. Happy days. Happy woo. Woo, 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 but um, so do tune in. We never checked it out live. And the reason why I'm so keen on checking this song live from Brother V is because he's like the best combination of like Indian classical music and rap. Mm. Um, not many people are able to do that. Not even here in the West. So very cool to see an artist that like this is old as balls. But everyone was asking us to check out this song and everyone is reviewing this song at the moment for some bloody reason. Right, maybe it's blowing up in the socials. Perhaps. Yeah. But I thought we'd check out something different, you know, something a bit live, live since we've live. never seen it live. We have heard the song, but let's give it a review. I do love a live performance. Though. It, it brings another dimension to the songs. It also exposes the artist. True. Oh, oh sing it. Mm, oh, please, please tell me he brought out the singer. I think it is live. Yeah. Yep. Bro's flow is immaculate. Is it, isn't Bro, it? In is English it? and in any other fucking language he wishes to speak in, in, in India. Because I'm pretty sure he doesn't just speak Hindi. I think he speaks something else as well. Uh, what do I know? I just think that guy is super is icy with that flow. Listen you know? to that shit. Talk about bringing a sample life. I also don't know how people why, why they don't do this with rap more I like agree. more than artists I agree why why is it always <clears> just <throat> a DJ bro and like just basically just plugging in your phone and playing the backing track I don't know because I don't know if, if it's because of the ease it like the easiness of it all that you can just plug in your track and just jump on on, on stage but I think I, also because most of them are in it just for the money we were listening to Russ talk about that right oh, yeah which he was like I think because mm -hmm. that's like the best way to make the most money mm -hmm. but the art Pays the price. Yeah, yeah, the art suffers. This is art. This yeah. is what you're getting in. I, I, I love a good sample on a, on a hip hop track. Don't get me wrong. I think there's something old school about it. There's something boom bap about it that also I absolutely goes with the culture love. Really well, like yeah, so... I love a good sample, a good female vocalist or a good melody line on a on a boom bap on like hip hop track. Love it. I'm weak for it. But I hate that nowadays you don't get the li the singers live. You don't get this. You know. And obviously this is old because it's 2014 and, you know, we're in 2024, it's literally 10 years old. But I love the fact that this is still somewhere around the realm. Well, he's of still the, making music. So exactly. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> so there's sure. still artists that maintain that essence. And I think it's so important. That That's the reason why this guy should be hyped up. No, and also Not because of well, what he stands for, but because of what he's bringing to the art. On top of that, yeah. I, I think also <laughs> the more, you know, people review this type of stuff and showcase why this is important, sort of like what you're doing. Um, I think uh, other artists also watch this type of stuff and then they'll be like, actually, that was so cool. I'll do that myself. And there's nothing better than hip hop with a live drummer. Oh, yeah, bro. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> See, hear that bell? I also love that it's raw audio. It's very stable uh, rapper. Trying to talk you with tentacles, survive by only those who prove to be sensible. With only two choices, good and the bad. The hardest part is to be choosing a path. Okay. Honestly, that bell. I just. You know. He also, he's such a stable <coughs> rapper, genuinely. Like, uh, you don't see the shit that you see all the time here, like, we, it, where it's like, he's just shouting. <laughs> and then I'm, they're barely singing or they're barely rapping. Honestly, this guy is bringing I'm a big fan all the great things of old school rap back into the into the modern days. I wonder what he's up to now. Yeah, what is he doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yep. <laughs> Doing the eight mile. See, that's a fucking show, that's son. Show. Yeah, that's a show. Got a flutist. You know how I noticed it was live? Because the the guy, the singer, he went on a different path on the chorus, and the flutist caught up halfway through the phrase, and I was like, oh, that's life. <laughs> Well, that flute is eating as well. My God, bring this back! Bring this back! It's also like a, like a fest. It does. A festival. Okay, shout out to that flutist though. My favorite aspects of Indian music. And Indian rap is like, in my opinion, fairly it's underrated so still here in the West. Like Honestly? there's there's a ton of obviously very successful rappers, especially on the Punjabi scene. True. But um I think there's so you know, like India's ginormous is so big. Could you imagine bringing this this style, like the, this exactly same environment that we just heard now? Live musicians, live vocalists. Him just doing his own thing. You can do it small venues if you wish to begin with, so you get some data, see how well it's sold. I will start buying tickets to watch hip hop again. One hundred percent. Yeah, we like a hundred percent. We have an issue with sort of hip hop at the moment. We've been very open about this, not just in the West, also, also in the East. Also, commercial R and B falls into that. But. Yeah, we have a big issue with that. You know, some of our favorite singers are or artists, because essentially we have found out that they're not singers, they're just <laughs> artists, studio artists, that only sound good in a studio, basically that's what I mean when we say studio artists, um, are in the commercial R&B or in the rap scene, you know, mm -hmm. we like a lot of Korean rap, a Korean R&B, uh, Indian rap, Indian R&B, actually R Indian R&B, it's still very new. Yeah. Um, there's like a niche, there's like a few, a handful of artists that they do it really yeah, well. But they're fairly weak life, um, mm -hmm. won't say names. Uh, same in the US, same in the UK. It's very, very specific. It's basically the most prevalent is in the US and in the UK. And it's a shame, though. It's a shame. The urban you scene. You bring so much uh, depth to this it's, sound. It's this a, sound. A, at, a, at a really low level at the moment in terms of live replication, live music. Mm -hmm. Even in some of the biggest names you can think of when you go to see them live and you go to see their production of the show, Unreal, when you go to see the actuality. Level of music. of music, it's uh, very shit. It's lost. Yeah, it's a shame. And then you come out of the concerts that you pair, paid your hard and earned money for, disappointed. It's like watching a really, really expensive movie that the story is quite shit. No, it's just mid. It's just mid because it's not it's not shit because the production is amazing. Yeah, and like the acting it, per se wasn't bad. Yeah, everything about it, but the script was crap. Oh, and the directions <laughs> were garbage. And you're like, no. Yeah, <laughs> ba basically, this? any modern Marvel movie. Anyways, uh, goodbye, guys. <laughs> Let us know what we should check out next. <laughs>